Yeah. Congressman Schiff, welcome back to the show, sir. Thank you. Uh, you seem to be the committee chairman that the president likes to talk about the most these days. And he had a two-part tweet that actually is a good way of unpacking um, everything you're working on right now. Here's what he tweeted. So now Congressman Adam Schiff announces, after having found zero Russian collusion, that he is going to be looking at every aspect of my life, both financial and personal, even though there is no reason to be doing so. Never happened before. Unlimited presidential harassment. The Dems and their committees are going nuts. He puts that in quotes. The Republicans never did this to President Obama. There would be no time left to run government. I hear other committee heads will do the same thing, even stealing people who work at White, at, at White House, a continuation of witch hunt. All right. Lots to unpack. Explain the parameters of your investigation, where you've expanded. How far back into his finances do you plan to look? look our priority is to make sure the President of the United States is working in the national interest, that he is not uh, motivated by some pecuniary interest or fear of compromise or actual compromise. That's the length and breadth of it. Uh, so in terms of the President's business, we're not interested in our committee and whether he's a tax cheat or he's not worth what he says he is or those issues. What we're interested in is, does the president have business dealings with Russia mm -hmm. such that it compromises the United States? And, and the perfect example is something we know about already. And that is, as a presidential candidate, while he was telling the country he had no business dealings with Russia, he was pursuing the most lucrative deal, I think, of his life and seeking the Kremlin's help to make it happen. Uh, that's a different form of collusion, but it is equally compromising to the country because it means the President of the United States is looking out for his bank account and not for the United States of America. You have said you're not convinced Robert Mueller is looking at this angle. Why? Why well, would it be? In reporting, well, I think he should be, uh, but the president has tried to draw a red line and say, you can't look at this, and I think the reason that we're looking Can at it is... Can I pause you there? How would yeah. you not know if he's... If, if, would Mueller, wouldn't Mueller warn you, okay, I'm in the middle of investi investigating this, so be patient here uh, and wait till my report? If not he were, not I mean, necessarily. Okay. I mean, we're, we're doing our best to deconflict with him, but up until now, that's been a non-issue because in the minority, mm -hmm. uh, in the last two years, the Republicans uh, would not do any investigation. Uh, I mean, wouldn't do a credible investigation of the Russia links, certainly wouldn't look into the president's finances. So there was nothing to deconflict as long as they were in charge. But, but the reason I, I'm concerned about it, Chuck, is there has been reporting that when uh, it was alleged that the special counsel had subpoenaed Deutsche Bank, right. that the president uh, uh, moved to fire Mueller. Uh, and the way they talked him off the ledge was by promising that that reporting wasn't true, that the special counsel hadn't subpoenaed Deutsche Bank. Well, if the special counsel hasn't subpoenaed Deutsche Bank, he can't be doing much of a money laundering investigation. So that's what concerns me, that that red line has been enforced, whether by the deputy attorney general or by some other party at the Justice Department, but that leaves the country exposed. Uh, I find it, you know, just remarkable, Chuck, that um, the President of the United States, as a candidate, as the presumptive nominee, could yeah. be pursuing business with the Kremlin and lying about it. And, but and isn't that what the Mueller probe ultimately is about? Why not wait for that before pursuing a money laundering investigation? Well, if, if we had waited uh, to do any of our investigative work for the Mueller investigation, we have, would have been waiting a year and a half. And we have a, a separate and independent and important responsibility, and that is to tell the country what happened. Mm -hmm. Mueller, ultimately, his job is to determine who broke the law and who should go to jail. But as we have seen from Bill Barr's testimony, there's no commitment by this Justice Department under Whitaker, and there's no commitment apparently under Barr, should he be confirmed, to share that evidence with the Congress or the American people. So we need to find it ourselves. Uh, the president keeps uh, uh, implying that the Senate Intelligence Committee has already found no collusion. Uh, he did it again this morning in a tweet. He did it yesterday, I think, in a tweet. Uh, and he's naming Richard Burr by name. What is your understanding of where, of where and how closely are you working together with the Senate and Tell Committee? You know, we are trying to work uh, collaboratively with the Senate. Uh, but look, I think when the president says there's no collusion, what he means is Bob Mueller has not yet proven beyond a reasonable doubt that I am guilty of the crime of conspiracy. Well, that's a pretty high bar. Uh, but when people uh, say there's no collusion, they must have a different word for the kind of corrupt coordination of effort between the Trump campaign and the Russians. Because 
when Mike Flynn was secretly talking to the Russian ambassador and trying to undermine bipartisan sanctions on Russia and lying about it, that was a form of collusion. When the Trump family and campaign manager were meeting in Trump Tower to get dirt on Hillary Clinton uh, as part of what was offered as the Russian government effort to help the campaign, that was a form of collusion. When the president himself Self and his business are trying to make money from the Russians and get Russian help during the campaign and promising um, or, or uh, a new relationship with Russia and talking about doing away with sanctions. That's a form of collusion. It's certainly a form of corrupt combination, but ultimately it'll be up to Mueller to determine if that's a crime. You were among the, uh, the most public in questioning Donald Trump Jr.'s honesty when it came to the response to, that, to the meeting at Trump Tower and even the response, and you talked about some blocked phone calls, unblocked uh, block calls that imply that it might, he might have actually been talking to his father. There's since been some reporting that the Senate Intel Committee has uncovered who those blocked calls were to and they were not to, to the president. Are you satisfied with that explanation? Well, we haven't been able to get the records yet because Republicans on our committee wouldn't allow us to. But our job, and this is very important, Chuck, it is not to prove the president did money laundering or prove phone records will show this or that. It is to find the facts and make them public whichever way they cut. Now, the people who were closest uh, to watching father and son during the campaign, people like Steve Bannon have said that there is zero chance that Don Jr. did not discuss that meeting with his father before it happened or after but Should it you have waited till there was evidence before speculating about that? Um, the point I made mm -hmm. was not speculation. The point I made was we should find out. We should get those records. Okay. Uh, and you can't run a credible investigation if you don't look for documentary proof, if you assume everybody who comes in your committee is telling the truth. Mm -hmm. We have seen graphically the problems with that approach. Adam Schiff, unfortunately, I have to leave it there. Chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, I know uh, I'll be talking to you quite a bit.